On January 17th, thanks to a few hours of hard work by Ben Beams and Anthony Edwards, I had the privilege of seeing the Speedster started for the first time in five years. It needs more work, but when it's in working order, we're going to start shooting chase scenes with it. Starting with as many shots we can do in public roads without getting arrested by the police. So I guess by saying that, it makes it obvious that this film has some action in it. Uh, I'll briefly tell you what kinds of action you're going to see. Obviously, you're going to see a car chase. Uh, there are also about six martial arts sequences in the film. Straw hat, actually. Find that one. Three o'clock on the 17th, we loaded up the cars and we went over to Youngdale's, an appliance store in Turlock that allowed us to shoot in their basement for free. The location was visually very interesting by itself, but we went ahead and redressed it a little bit with a desk and uh, some other odds and ends. Woo! That's everything? Our setup for the day basically involved turning all of the existing lights in the location off and setting up our own lights. Ben Beams was basically in charge of all of this. The setup consisted mostly of the main action being lit by two lights, an overhead light pointing straight down from the ceiling and another light positioned somewhere that I can't remember. And some more lights far away in the background that lit everything that was in the background so that you could tell that they were in this location, otherwise it would just be pitch black in there. And that's important uh, to, s to make it look more interesting and not just like a black void. I mean, I was just here to talk to you about real estate, but I'm not quite sure why you put me in here. This isn't exactly what What's we call an amenity. From the time that we started this little venture until now, which hasn't been a very long time, Ben and I have discussed several times what actually makes a film look like a feature film. This is important because we want this film to look like a feature film. And in fact, we want it to be good enough to be shown on the big screen. We've come up with a short list of factors that we think play a huge role in making a film look like a feature film. Obviously lighting, uh, maybe less obviously, the colors of walls. Another thing that we discovered very early on, in fact, before we even started on this production, atmospheric perspective. The material in the air is actually distorting what you're seeing. This happens in real life, but normally only over large distances. For instance, if you look at a mountain in the distance, it'll look hazy and not very detailed. In movies, for some reason, our minds don't really accept the image unless we have that atmospheric perspective, even though it doesn't normally happen over short distances. We have to force it to happen somehow. Something that we do is pump a whole bunch of fog into the room and allow it to dissipate a little bit and then we say action and we do the shot. You don't want to see big banks of fog floating around and clouds and wisps of white smoke. Yeah, good luck with that. I kind of try to make every shot a moving shot if it's possible. Uh, for instance, if I've storyboarded a simple still shot, I'll tell Ben, you know, can we put this on the dolly and just have a very slow sideways movement or forward and backwards movement, anything, to just keep it moving somehow, even if it's not even noticeable. We do most of our moving shots with a piece of equipment that Ben has. Ben has all our equipment. It's a dolly track that's basically made out of PVC pipe that you can buy at the hardware store. It snaps together in under a minute and you can make it as long as or as short as you want just depending on how much PVC pipe you buy. And then there's a dolly that runs on top of it. It's made out of two pieces of metal with some skateboard wheels bolted on it. And Is the company paying for it? No. No, why would they? They never pay for this kind of thing. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right.